Oh, bumdily gumdily goo. Chat, can we get some hype? Please, I'm gonna need it. I'm running on like four hours of sleep. Hello, my beautiful chat. Oh God, that's loud. New video day, new video day. Let's go. Uh, video was just released on the main channel. Testing, testing, testing maybe like a half hour ago or so please go check it out give it a like and and comment if you enjoyed it of course super happy with it um really love the thumbnail too my editor did a great job super hype super hype super hype how's everyone doing today hello hello we got pine cone in the chat mr waffles rufus what's up rufus Good to see you, man. Thank you for the 28 months, by the way. Appreciate that. We also got nine months from Germad, 88. Yo, Declan Hawks, 
this was yesterday, but if you ever see this, thank you for the 11 months of Prime. I wonder if I was logged off before I saw that. So thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hey, Denise, how's it going? Hello, hello. You had three hours of sleep? Always got a one-up me. Happy birthday, Laura. Yo, we got Viciously CR in the chat. Yo, Frank, how are you, man? I'm doing well. It's a good day so far. Uh, it's noon here. Just uploaded the new video. Things are pretty good. Weather's beautiful today. Uh, I'm pretty tired at the moment, so I'd, I have a feeling today's stream won't be very long at all. But we're here. We out here. We doing it. Uh, I've been live for eight minutes. Yeah, good to have you all here. Nice and windy today. Is it windy today? I am not sure. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, we got Robsta in the chat. Joe, Frank, just joined Patreon level two. Yo, thank you for doing that. Um, I've gotten a lot of people reaching out about the Patreon, specifically peer tier two and people are really liking it because i have all of the audio and midi files and if you sign up even if if it's like just for a month you get the entire catalog of audio and midi it's gonna be one of those days i'm so tired i'm not gonna be able to speak chat you'll have to bear with me if you sign up for patreon tier two even for one month you can go back and get the entire catalog of audio and midi files I think there's like 500 of them now, something ridiculous. And you can just download them. You can just download them. And that's it. It's pretty cool. I'm really proud of it. I'm really proud of that reward, you know? How was yesterday's stream? I, I had a good time. It was a lot of fun. We did some live learns yesterday. We did some loops. What else did we do? What else did we do, chat? Thank you for the midi of your videos. You're very welcome. You are welcome. Yeah, we have a, a lot of patrons now, actually. I don't even know where actually it is. I don't know. 258 patrons. That's really cool. That, that's awesome. So that, that really helps out the channel a lot because, you know, uh, my videos are now re-monetized a little bit, but you don't get the full amount. So it, it just helps out a lot. It allows me to upload more and to stream more and to basically just be online playing piano and doing loops for you all more. So I appreciate that. Thank you to all 258 of you. Um, if you don't know, on Patreon, I have a bunch of rewards, uh, including some extra bonus content, Omega clips that don't make the final video, Tons of other stuff. If you want to read more about it, there's a bunch of stuff here. The main thing that people seem to be enjoying are the, the MIDI files and the audio files, though. So, like, the piano performances in wave format without any talking for the, of the stranger or myself, things like that. Pretty cool stuff. You also get my piano collections as a PDF. I almost said free. It's free as a digital PDF, which is kind of cool. Fun stuff. Yeah, I really appreciate it. Um, Robsta, thank you so much. I hope you enjoy the files, man. Oh, yeah, we did some human beatboxing. Oh, maybe we'll name the VOD that, the one with the human beatboxing as opposed to the non-human beatboxing. Racking in the big bucks. <laughs> oh, on Patreon? It's definitely helpful. It's definitely helpful. Do you have advice on how to add more creative patterns on the left hand to make the improvisation more interesting? Dude, there are a lot of things you can do with the left hand. Um, hope that helped. No, I'm kidding. Uh, you could do things like um, changing up the pattern of an arpeggio. You know, you can add extended notes. So if you're doing an arpeggio of like C minor with some melody. You now try to add in some of the extended notes like... F, you 
know. Things like that. Something you can also do is when you hit the root note, it kind of gives the expectation that you're gonna hit C minor, but maybe change it up. Do like an inversion of maybe a six chord. You know, so I can be like, it just kind of prolongs the uh, the return of the tonic, right? So you can be like. Right, it almost sounds like you're back home, but you're still not. It's like it's like a deviation, you know? I guess technically that's a um, deceptive cadence, but with an inversion. So that can be cool. That can be something cool to do. But yeah, messing around with arpeggios. You can do Alberti bass. That's a common little technique in classical music. Just to name a few. Anybody got some advice for treating hand issues like repetitive strain? That... I don't know, True North. I would have to see you, assuming you're, it's piano related, I would have to actually see you playing piano to give advice. But that's the idea. We got Orango coming in with the three months. Thank you so much for coming back. Thank you also for the bits. Appreciate you, appreciate you. I think I'm gonna wake up a little bit, chat. Y'all are giving me some energy. I was so tired when I, when I pressed start, like when I was in the uh, starting soon screen, I was like running around. And then the last minute I was here, just like. But we here, we here, we here, we here. I do have some caffeine and that will hopefully do something. Oh, mousing and keyboarding. Maybe make sure that like just reassess how you look when you're sitting down typing. Like is your keyboard too high or too low? You know, because sometimes people can sit too low and they're, they're typing like this, you know. Same thing with the mouse. Like if you're, if you're sitting really high, like my mouse is a little bit low. So a lot of times I'll I kind of – I hold my mouse weird here at my streaming setup. I'll actually hold it like this because I don't, I don't want to hold it like that. So I just kind of like hover my – just to keep your wrist straight, right? That's the idea. Uh, that's not coffee. Was there something that you didn't like playing when you started learning piano? Um, no, not nothing when I started playing that comes to mind. Annoying, but not worth ignoring. What's RSI? I'm not sure what that is. What's a vertical mouse? What is that? Oh, okay. That's kind of what I was wondering. You know, I've... Whoa. Are these good? Interesting. I've never seen one quite like this before. Huh. It's kind of cool, actually. Harry Lens, thank you for the prime, dude. Six months. I appreciate you. Also, Jock Smokin coming in with the 11 months. Yo. Oh, repetitive strain injury. Got it, got it, got it. Um, yeah, this is interesting. This doesn't, I, I guess I could see this being pretty comfortable, but it just looks strange. Oh no, what is this? I hate this. I, what is this material? I hate this. It's like, like cork boards are made out of it. What's that stuff called? It's just cork. Cork mouse? Is that? Ew. Oh God, I hate this chat. No, no, it looks like. It looks like pound cake with a mouse on top. They replaced the good part with a mouse. Yuck. Anyways. <laughs> uh, I hope your wrist feels better. That is a bummer. You know, a couple weeks, maybe it was a month ago now or so, I was, for some reason, I would wake up in the morning and I would be like falling asleep on my wrist. 
and I would wake up and my, my hand would be numb because I'd, I'd be like sleeping like this and I wake up and I'd be like, ow, you know, and then it would immediately be fine. But, you know, the numbness would go away. So I got a little wrist brace to keep my wrist straight just to train myself not to sleep like that. And it worked. Yeah, it took like I slept with it on for like a week and then that was the end of that. So that's kind of cool. Uh, I actually don't have to wax my stash. I just kind of trained it, you know, just brush it sideways. And it also had an inclination to go this way anyway. So I kind of lucked out with that. But yeah, I just brushed it this way a lot when it was growing out. And it kind of just kind of just stayed. Although sometimes if when I sleep weird, it'll like go down and have to like, you know, but for the most part, it kind of naturally goes out. Captain Cork. <laughs> um, yo, JF, any tips for my six year old who wants oh, who gets frust six years old who gets frustrated not being able to play all the notes he wants? <laughs> you know, it's like you want to just be like, bro, you're six. But I don't know. That is so young to be playing piano. Um, well, what notes does he want to hit? I guess that's the question. Is he trying to learn a song or? Yo, Navy Robot came from the video. Great as always. Yo, thank you. I hope you all like the sponsor in today's video. It was Rocket Money and they, the brief, they, they let me kind of like do what I want. So I made them regret that. <laughs> I got, I got to play this, this quick shot because this is like my, uh, this is literally the money shot. It's the end of this. To order so much stuff from Amazon. Ah, <laughs> oh, I have the best job in the world, bar none. A new gift, actually. Uh, well, I have a front angle of that too that I ended up not using. I can put that in the in the mod channel in Discord. It might be a better shot. I'll I'll put them both in if you want, and the rocket one too, and we can. We can make a gif out of those if we want. It's an actual money shot, yeah. I do have the money gun, yeah. I was gonna send it back to Amazon, but I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna keep it because that could be like a cool thing to have. It's fake money, by the way. I actually had a couple people being like, yo, is that real money? No, I wish, but all fake. It looks incredibly real because it is. No, it's fake. It's real. It's fake. Yeah, some of the bills do look real. No, I'm not like, <laughs> I'm not like that kind of YouTuber. I'm not a, I'm not a Logan Paul. I don't, I don't have the Ferraris yet, you know. Yet, <laughs> I don't know, chat. I don't think even if I, even if I was one of those YouTubers who is like just ridiculously loaded or Twitch streamers. I, I don't think I'd be the guy who would buy a lot of cars. I don't think that would be me. I don't really spend money on things except for stuff that goes back into the business like gear, you know, or good food, good quality food. That's been shirts. That's fair. That's fair. Um, but yeah, I would say that just like gear and, and like good food. Yeah, although I, I think I would like to get a house in the next three to five years. That's a, a loose goal. That could be cool. Buy a new AC. Yeah. Gear? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> no, no, like music gear. Definitely give your fans some. Oh, 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 oh. I think you definitely give your fans some money so we can get a beautiful beard like yours. Yes, I'd give away all my money. 
to my fans. A house with a detached studio space. Man, that would be a beautiful thing. A house, dude, a house would be great. If I had a house, ugh, that would be kind of cool. I can make as, nut as much noise as I want whenever I want. I could expand my studio. I can get a drum set in there for streams. Someday. Someday, someday. I gotta get my student loans down first, though. It's it's not not a good idea to try to get a house with the amount that I have to pay monthly for student loan debt. So we shall see. Patience is the name of the game. Always nice to have a loose plan. President Evil, thank you for the prime. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. We also got Karanger20. Uh, with the Prime, I'm sorry I missed that. Orangle, thank you again for the three months. Three months of music magic. Thanks for being alive. Yo, thank my parents. <laughs> Putting off with uncertainty work where I need to be. Yeah. I do like where I live, though, quite a bit. Quite a bit. Quite a bit. But, you know, I'm 30 now, and I could I could definitely see, like, not wanting to live in an apartment in, like, another year or two. It'd be nice to have an actual house, I think. You know, and I really like Colorado, so I'd probably uh, live somewhere here. I like moving around a lot, you know? I've moved around a lot throughout my 20s, so I never really wanted to buy a house. But... I really like it where I live, like the state in particular. So we shall see. We shall see. <laughs> you want a house? Just go to rocketmoney.com. That's true. Start saving. I know, right? I should take my own uh, my own advice. Uh, oh, the partner plus goal. Uh, well, last month doesn't count towards the program because it only counts for July, August, September, the three months prior to October. But it, we actually, we were eligible technically last month. I think we had like 390 paid subs in June. Not that it matters towards the goal, but yeah. My parents are musicians, yeah. They're retired now, but yes. If money was no object, what instrument would you buy? I'd buy a grand piano. 30. Gasp. I know, right? <laughs> yeah, that's what I've heard, too. You buy a house and you realize the upkeep, of course. I guess there are pros and cons to both, right? You know, at least your payments are going towards a mortgage. I think you hear people not happy with either one. So, pick your poison kind of thing. But I wonder if the pros of a house outweigh the cons. Who knows? Uh, I've never gotten a complaint while recording, no. 30? You're still a child in my ass? I feel like a child. Yeah, I feel, I do feel very young. I do feel very young. I guess it depends on who's judging you, right? Because if you look at like a, if you're talking to a 12-year-old on Omegle, you're definitely old at 30. I mean, even, even when I go back and, and think of myself when I was 13, you see somebody who's like 25 and you're like, oh my God, they're old. <laughs> <laughs> but now as a 30-year-old, I'm like, 30's not old at all. Are you out of your mind? And like 20 is like a child. It's just so weird how the perspective changes as you age. I don't know. How old are you all? If you feel comfortable sharing, I'm curious. Curious, curious, curious. And then we're going to play some piano chat. But I'm enjoying chatting with you. I don't have any pets. Money I plan to put towards projects would barely ever... Yeah, yeah, see, that's something I would be nervous about, too. Like, I want to make sure I can handle the cost of upkeep. That's why I don't want to... I'd want to wait until I can get my student loans down. You know? Thirty, you're in your prime. That's what I hear. I hear. You know, like they say, your thirties are 
it's like a better 20s because you're a little bit older and wiser. Ideally, you have a little bit more money and stability, but you still have, you know, like the trifecta, time, energy, and money. In your 30s, ideally, you would have all three, right? You still have time, you still have money, and you still have energy. Right? When you're younger, it's like you have time and energy, but no money. And then when you're old, you have time, you have money and time, but not energy. It's like, dang, that's that's a pretty bleak outlook on it. I don't think that's true necessarily, but maybe there's a, a little bit of truth to that. Okay, we got 35, 25, 40, 43, 30, nice. I don't think my parents have any content around Republic. I wish they did, but they they were played in a band in New York for like, what, 20 years? Something like that. That's how they made their living. Uh, and you, their band was New York Force. I think that was the name. But that was like way before content existed, right? But that's crazy to me that they were able to make a living off of music like that. <sighs> I have. Twenty-eight. Let's go. Don't be afraid about hitting thirty. By the way, for the person who said they're twenty-eight, it's no different. It's like, it might even be better. I don't know. I know a lot of people have like a, a quarter life crisis at 30. They're like, oh my gosh, I'm 30. I might as well just wrap things up. We're, we're heading all downhill. It's not true. Not true at all. That's like, whenever you talk to somebody, because whenever I talk to somebody who's older and, and I'll ask them for like advice, I do that often. Like, hey, do you have any advice for somebody in their whatever, whatever age I am at that time? And they'll, they'll always, a lot of times they'll, you get common themes and one of them is like, enjoy it while you can. <laughs> it's just such a sad, like, dang, enjoy it while you can. They say it like that. I'm like, oh, okay. Yeah. Debts first. Yeah. Yeah. Not trying to, um, have to deal with mortgage on top of paying four figures a month for student loans. Music school. Let's get it. Yo, Vesafari, what's up? <clears throat> guests on stream? I do want to have more guests on stream, actually. I do want to do that. That'd be cool. More musicians. I don't have any recordings, Ron. No, I wish I did. I'm sure we have some home videos of um, when I was younger and we used to have like parties at the house and my parents would play, but not nothing of them like when they were younger, you know? Point in the back of a tour bus. Yeah. 30 ain't that big of a deal. I didn't think it was. I don't know. It's tough to say because I guess it depends on how like your your health condition, you know, because I, I have friends and colleagues who like don't feel great physically at 30. And then I have people like I have a mentor at the gym who's 62 and he's a power lifter and he's way stronger than me. And he's like pain free, which I, I recognize is more rare that's sort of an anomaly but it's possible and it's it's all about his mindset he's just like yeah i just never gave myself any limits and started working out when i was 20 and never stopped and he's like i just didn't buy into the bs that you have to like as you get older you have to stop working out and being healthy you know wild that's crazy 62 man 62 deadlifts like 400 pounds <laughs> Wild, wild, wild. I forgot to do the Discord thing, Woody. Hitting 39 this year? Oh, let's go. Nice. Travel? Yeah, I, I hear that a lot too. A lot. That's a common theme too. Travel as much as you can, you know? For sure. Age is just a number if you continue to go to the gym. 
yeah, I, I think that is like really important, you know, go to the gym, uh, you know, lift weights, stretch, try to stay flexible. I think those are all things that help a lot. For sure, for sure. And I'm not saying you have to go to the gym five days a week or anything, but uh, you, if you all power to you, definitely do that if you can. But yeah, man, it really does keep you young. It really does. So is music school something you'd recommend? I would just look into the cost very carefully and deeply before considering that. Yo, we got banana bread. I think I'm in a good spot. I have everything I want. Now I just gotta pay it off. Yeah. Oh, my parents ever be guests on the stream? Uh, I'm not sure. They live in Arizona. My dad doesn't like to travel much because he has a really bad back, so he hates planes. They probably would never be a guest, but sometimes they hang out in the stream. They usually just lurk, but I doubt they would uh, travel here. Uh, my mom was a singer. My dad is a drummer. Ah. Uh. Couldn't believe it when I turned 60. Now I'm only a year and a half from 70. I don't, it's cool seeing somebody in their 60s on Twitch. I don't see a lot of people in that age bracket. Very cool to see. Very cool to see. Yeah, I'll try, Ron. I'll, I'll ask my parents if they have any, any footage that's in a format that I could get it on a computer, you know? That'd be cool. Pain free? Dude, I don't know. I don't know how that guy is pain free. That's why whenever I, whenever you meet somebody like that, you know, like my mentor at the gym, always want to attach yourself to those types of people. There, you just meet special people in your life and you're like, I should, I should stick around you for sure. It's a really, really good skill to work on, you know? Cause sometimes I'm sure you, you, you have that feeling like, wow, this guy's, this person's kind of like really interesting has a lot to offer. I'm going to I'm going to like stay close to them, you know. Yo, Drake. What's up? <laughs> 30s and I have one foot in the grave, says Jobot03. <laughs> Why do you say that? <laughs> Man. One foot in the grave. Um, this is my first time here. I love your music. Do you have piano arrangements on your Patreon? On my Patreon, I have all of the high quality wave files and MIDI files for all of the piano performances in my Omegle videos. I think there are like 500 now. So if you sign up at tier two, you can basically go and download all of them. You get like the full backlog. And then if you want, you can just like cancel it. It could be like a one month thing. Obviously, I appreciate if you continue the support, but if you wanted to just sign up for a month, download 500 files and dip, you can totally do that. <clears throat> uh, I'm more of a, like a weightlifter guy. I'm, I'm not really like power, like powerlifting. I don't know. I'm more like, I'm more into the bodybuilding element as opposed to powerlifting personally. Huge respect to powerlifters though. Um... Oh, does he do anything else? Oh, my mentor? Uh, he, he does powerlifting actually. Now, he didn't always, but he's just started powerlifting at 62. <laughs> Ridiculous. Um, but he has done a lot of bodybuilding stuff, you know, just working on all of his muscle groups. Um, I don't know if he does a lot of cardio. I don't think so. I don't think he does much cardio. I don't know if he does a lot of, I don't see him do much flexibility work or stretching at the gym either. I don't know. Every time I see him, he's just like lifting heavy weights. I don't know. He's like, he's like a cartoon character. You know, he's just like, he's like always wearing the same thing and he's always just lifting heavy weights. It's kind of funny. Oh, you want to publish five books by the time you're 35. I believe in you, Rixie. I think you can do that.
Man, chat is moving. All right, let me let me uh let me catch up a little bit. I'm a fan of your parents without knowing that. My parents are amazing. Yeah, it's very rare to have parents who are supportive of somebody going into the music industry, you know? I would have gone into it either way, but if it would have been immensely, like so much more difficult when you don't have support from home, you know? Who even knows if it's possible? I don't know. It's ridiculous. It, it's so hard making it in the music industry, even with supportive like a support system, you know? So I can't, I, I feel for people who are trying to do it. It breaks my heart when I, when I meet people who are like, yeah, I really wanted to do music, but like my parents are, don't like it. So they want me to go and do this. So they're not supporting me doing that. I'm like, man, that just <sighs> lame. <sighs> Probably avoided any major injuries. Yeah. Yeah. I think he did. I've been overweight most of my life, started working on my health habits, food, and activity, and so far I've been able to lose 26 pounds. Holy crap. Dude, that's awesome. That's a lot of weight. Congratulations. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. That is amazing. <sighs> I'll Venmo you, Limbus. Uh, do you do game sports? No, not really. I did some sports when I was younger. Like, uh, I did hockey, a little bit of soccer, and baseball. But not too much nowadays. I also really like skateboarding. Disc golf? Yo, come to Colorado. We'll play. Would you ever compete in bodybuilding? Uh, I don't, I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't know if I'd have enough. I don't know. When, when I think about it, it's not something that I get excited about. So I would say no for now. Music is crazy. Yeah, it is crazy to get into seriously. I, I get a lot of people asking like, do you think I should go into music? And I, I always try to like say, not in a discouraging way, but if you, if there's anything else you can see yourself doing, you should probably do that. <laughs> You, you, because you really have to be borderline out of your mind to try to go into it, you know. And at the same time, if hearing something like that discourages you, it's very unlikely you would make it in the industry, to be honest, right? It's it's that tough. It's that tough, especially when you're doing stuff online because you have to forge your own path. There's like semi, there's a kind of a blueprint, but. You have to figure out how to make income on your own, you know, and along with a, a lot of other things. It's it's absurd, you know, and it can take like over a decade to start seeing any sort of financial uh, re uh, rewards, rewards, results, resorts, like resorts. Not related to Tommy Tedesco, no. Nope, 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 nope. Yeah, it can be useful having money to afford instruments. Yeah, for sure. But you don't need it in the beginning. I think that's a mistake. People are like, I need I need this, 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 and that to start. It's like, no, you don't. Yeah, you know, all you need is like very minimal, very minimal gear, especially if you're trying to do YouTube. Get a phone and if you're doing music, like you garage band, if you have a Mac, you already have it. You know, Audacity's free. Like that's what I did when I first was uploading videos on YouTube. I was just using Audacity. I was using my Yamaha keyboard and my phone to record, and that's it, you know? Yeah, if you love it so much that nothing will stop you. Yeah, exactly, exactly. But, like, you know, it's, it's almost like if you have to, if you're teetering between different things. Like, I've, I've had some students before in the past who are like, uh, and Zach has too, he's, we've talked about it a couple times, where they're like, yeah, you know, I feel like it'd be cool to give music a try as a career. <laughs> I'm like, bro, I mean, it's, it is like an it's an all in thing. It's an all in thing. It requires, based on my own experience and everyone I've ever met who's doing music as a career, it requires immense sacrifice. You know, it's just something to be aware of.
It's a brutal industry. Very rewarding, but it takes a long time to to get anywhere, you know? Long time. Long, long, long time. I think everybody should get into music though, yeah. I don't think uh I don't think it needs to be their livelihood. No way. No way. Now, you could argue that you're better off just keeping it as uh, a hobby, you know? But who knows? Who knows? Mm, I did not finish my other model yet, Pinecone. That's on the back burner at the moment. How's Zach doing? Zach's doing great. Hey, I caught up with chat. Let's go. Finally. Oh, it's nice to just sit down and chat with you. Chat. I know we did a lot of music yesterday. I'm also exhausted, so I'm just putting off playing. But hope you're enjoying the chat. <laughs> I feel like I'm just <laughs> discouraging people who want to get into music. <laughs> anyway, it's hard. It's brutal. Don't do it. No, I'm joking. <laughs> Uh, I have to say the same to a lot of newer writers. Yeah, writing's a similar field in that regard. You can aim to make a career from it if you want, of course, but it's not easy to make a steady or sufficient. It's like, yeah, yeah, without a lot of commitment and time. Yeah, I mean, honestly, it, to be excellent at anything requires a ton of sacrifice. I don't think people realize how much sacrifice it takes when they see somebody online or, or some somebody doing like something remarkable. They're just like, oh, I wish I could do that. I wish I had that. And it's like, bro, you know, people who can do that, all sorts of creators online, you know, Harry Max, a good example. People are like, oh, I wish I could do that. I'm sure that guy I know just practices probably like I did hours, you know, seven hours a day. I'm sure. I'm sure I would bet money to, to get that good at something. You're not going out nights that your friends are. You know, you are locked in a practice room all throughout the night practicing, right? Things like that. Uh, I went to Kansai Gaidao University in 2000. Oh, they, that's crazy. Fell in love with my now wife in Hirakata. So many memories. Yo, that's awesome. Dude, I went to Cafe Istanbul all the time. That was like the hangout spot. Yeah, I wasn't really into like hookah, but that was a really fun place it's there all the time i lived with the host family um and they were not too far from cafe istanbul maybe it was like a, a 10 minute bike ride yeah like if you're if you leave cafe Istanbul and you make a right and then you make another right there's like a little road that goes up and it was like straight back 10 minutes that's wild Play chords in both left and right hands at the same time. Do you think of it as two chords or single chord? You can think of it as both, you know? Uh, you can think of it as either or. Like if you played a chord like this, it's like, all right, that's just like a, a very extended C minor chord, or you can think of it as a B flat over C. So the answer is kind of both. You're having so much fun. I had fun all throughout. Yeah, it's like a labor of love, you know? If you really love it, it's not like it's not like you're miserable while you're grinding. It's you love it. You, you don't even you don't even think ab about it. You know, it's not like you lose track of the time when you're practicing for seven hours a day. It's just something that you love. But yeah. Uh, probably not doing any live learns today, Ron. We did a bunch yesterday, but we shall see. I'm also thinking of, I don't want to make any promises, chat, but I might stream tomorrow as well. We'll see. We'll see. Because I actually have a pretty free day tomorrow. 
um, which is nice. I should probably take the day off, but you know, maybe I'll, maybe I'll stream. We'll see Maybe we could do some live lunch tomorrow. Again, no promises, but I'll see what I can do. I'll see what I can do. Yeah, it's pushing your development for sure. For sure. Yeah, you do have to be borderline accessed. If you're somebody, it's depending on what you're trying to do. Like, I do think anyone can get into music. Everyone should try an instrument. I've never met anybody who's tried an instrument uh, and has regretted it, you know? Unless they're like forced into it by their parents when they're like eight or nine. And I've had multiple students throughout the years who are like, yeah, you know, I started when I was nine or 10 because my parents made me. And then when I was, you know, a couple years later, I quit because I hated it and then uh, I regret quitting now that I'm 20, 30, 40, you know. So any parents in the chat, I would say try your best not to like force an instrument on your child at that sort of age, you know. For at least for an extended period of time. You know, it's good to have your children try new things, I think. But, you know, you don't want to like lock them into piano lessons for four years if they absolutely hate it. Angel Wings, what's up? Oh. Yeah, to put a lot of effort into something, I think you either need satisfaction or enjoyment. Yeah, definitely, for sure. 100%, 100%. Yo, Scump, thank you for the four months. Appreciate it. Uh, do you allow people in Discord to show their piano skills? I do, yeah. We have a self-promo channel. Um, so, yeah, please join the Discord. I, I, we would love to see. We also have a performance channel where people perform piano and other instruments. Pretty cool. <laughs> um, yeah. What do you think of AI music? I guess you're almost AI, as I'm sure if someone tells you to play a song in the style of, you can probably nail it. I don't know. I don't know. I'm curious about AI music. We'll, we'll see, we'll see. I don't have fully developed thoughts on that yet. Oh, you got rid of your stuttering as a child from singing lessons. That's awesome. What the heck? That's really cool, Imbus. Also, that is a confusing name. Syria Kuzushi. I'm subscribing your YouTube channels for three or four years now. Because of you and Marcus, I started playing piano. Can now play some of my favorite songs. Thank you for making videos. Yo, thank you for coming over to Twitch. I see that it's your first time on here. Let's go. Welcome, welcome. Yeah, that is interesting. Ow. Uh, Skumpf, thank you again for the four months. I think I'm caught up. Henry Lenz with the six months. It sounds like the, the CEO of like a glasses company. Hi, I'm Henry Lenz. Uh... I have seizures and I'm beginning to have shakes in my hands. But when I play piano, it feels like it stops completely. That's really interesting. I, I really should. I'm not too uh, knowledgeable on seizures, like, you know, how that works and how music affects that. But that's very interesting to hear. Very interesting to hear. Also, thank you for all the people subscribing today. We're at we're getting towards this month's goal for the Partner Plus program. Pretty exciting stuff. And also, again, please check out the new video. Just dropped a couple hours ago. Please, 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 please. I met two Barbies on Omegle. Fun stuff. Ugh. Should we play piano a little bit? I am enjoying chatting, but I know a lot of people are here for the music, not my, not my talking. Oh. Uh. 
Yeah, apparently one of those Barbies is a YouTuber. I didn't know that. All right, here we go. Yo, thank you for checking out the highlights channel too. Appreciate that.
Uh, that last one was Mario, actually. Not Sonic.
shit, I'm trying to do it. Wait, 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 hang on. Oh, I, wait, hang on, hang on. I'm just going to do a polyrhythm. Let me do it again. Trying, I'm trying. My my brain is uh not working at 100 percent today due to lack of sleep. But we out here, chat. We doing it. We doing it. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. Y'all are giving me energy. I appreciate everyone typing in chat, keeping the energy high. Thank you. Boop it bang. Oh, birthday song for Laura. Yeah, I can't believe I forgot to do that. Chat, we have a birthday. We have a birthday in the chat. Mr. Woody. Everyone, we're going to sing happy birthday to Laura. So when we get to the part, I need everyone to type Laura in the chat. Okay, when we get to that. Da, 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 da. Okay, all right, so here we go. I'm, I'm going to give it to you to copy. So everyone copy that. Okay, here we go. Key of F. Don't dis me. D d don't let me down. <clears throat> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear. Do it now. Go. Happy birthday! Always a special day when we have a mod birthday. Hope you have a fun day with lots of food and cake and presents and things like that. And as for me, it is time for me to share my birthday gift to you. Got a peach chat. Be right back.
Be right back. The baby needs to eat. No, I'm here. I had breakfast earlier. We're good. We're good, chat. We're good. We back. We back. A little bit of two Zanarkand. Uh, v Jill, thank you again for the prime. We got confused potato. Uh, coming back with the two months, I appreciate you. Also, reborn devil ninety six with three months. I appreciate you. Welcome back. Um, do you ever do live learns or requests on EU streams? I do. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna do any today because I did a bunch yesterday. But I may try to stream again tomorrow, and maybe we'll do some live learns then. No promises yet, because it's not on the schedule, but we'll, we'll see. We'll see. Probably won't happen. Or I'm just saying that to throw the mods off. Oh, I'm joking, I'm joking. <laughs> Um, no, I don't know if there's going to be a stream. I do not know. Uh, thanks for all the follows, everyone, by the way. Uh, let's do some music.
Yo. All right, chat. Hope you enjoyed that improv loop. What did we do? Did... Ah, this came out cool. This came out cool. Yeah, I've been doing a, a newer technique on Twitch where um, I'll have certain things going, and I'll actually have this, a track that's playing, but the volume's down, and then I'll record a bunch of layers to that track, which is really cool. Um, and that way when I bring it all, all together, it's like a big hit. One thing I could do, if I really want it, well, actually, no, that wouldn't work. Never mind. But yeah, that's been pretty fun. Makes like a big impact, you know? So that way you don't, you hear everything getting added, but it's one big drop instead of uh, each individual layer. So that's been a fun thing that I've been experimenting with. I'm <clears throat> digging how that's sounding for certain loops. Always learn and always grow and always improve and always doing new things. You know how it is, chat. Um, but anyway, I, ho I hope you enjoyed that. That was a blast. We also got gifted subs coming in from Tega, oh yeah, Tega, Tega Kitagaki. Thank you for the gifted sub. We also got uh, Vic, Victor, v Vicor, Vicor John with the five gift. Thank you for five gifted subs. That's so kind of you. Jameson United coming in with the three months. You were the most inspiring person of the last months for me. Oh, thank you. Next to my wife. I appreciate that. I hope I surpass your wife. Uh, thank you for the gifted sub, Confused Potato. Upsend K with the Prime Stamp with five gifted and Laura with 10 gifted on your birthday, no less. That's so kind, that's so kind. Uh, do you blindly add the layers on that track then or do you hear it? I hear it in my, I hear just what you all hear. So like if I'm for like that example in that loop, um, you know, if I, like I had this going on. And, you know, this is playing. I'll start recording on this and... So I hear this. And it like, it'll be recording. But instead of it getting looped, the volume's down. So I can add... Right, and I think I did uh, this to voice. So I layer all that. And that way, when it all comes in, it's... Yeah, I've been a big fan of that. I think that's really cool. Oh my gosh, chat, are you seeing what I'm seeing right now? Well, probably not, because I'm seeing my two monitors. A 50 bomb? What? Who's this from? Ban him. Ban him right now. Mods. Yo. Also, uh, v Vcore, thank you so much for the super chat. Liu name with the 11 months. And Leland, we need a bunch of L's. We actually have an emote specifically made for, for Leland. So please put some L's in the chat. Thank you, Leland, for 50. That's so, that's so generous. Thank you very much, man. Dang. That is a lot. That is a huge, huge bomb of subs. Wow. My goodness. Uh, anyways, uh, chat, by the way, if you, <laughs> if you enjoyed that loop... That one will most likely be on the Highlights channel, so I want to plug my two other channels real quick. I have a VOD channel and a Highlights channel. I, uh, some people might not know this, so I, I plug it pretty frequently nowadays on Twitch. But I have a Highlights channel, which has a ton of full loops, just like what you heard. It's like the full uncut loops. So if you like what I do on Twitch or even the loops that I do on YouTube, I would definitely check out this channel because it has a ton of stuff. And also, I have a VOD channel, which is basically a archive, an archive of all of my Twitch live streams. So if you ever miss a stream and you want to rewatch it, or if there's something in particular that you want to see, I have them all archived on this channel, Frank Tedesco VODs. 
So you could check that out. One of the easiest ways to get there is if you go to my main channel, there is a channels tab. Uh, and I think this works on mobile too. If you click on that, then you'll see my two other channels here. I'm almost at 25K on the highlights channel, which is wild. So thank you. Thank you everyone for subscribing there. Yeah, highlights channel and longer highlights, right? Exactly. Extended highlights. Yeah. I like that I like that they have the channels tab. That's really cool. And, and maybe some people don't know this, but I do have there's a playlist for my Omega videos as well. Um I think some people know this, but if you don't know that, I do have a playlist for all of my Omega videos. I have 47 now. So if you get bored and you want to watch 47 videos that are like 20 minutes long each, I have quite the catalog of Omega videos growing. Look at all this, dude. Uh, this is so cool to see. Dang. I think I've watched all of those. <laughs> really? That's wild. That's so many videos, man. We also got James, 15 months uh, of frank, frankliness, goodliness. Keep working out, and more importantly, keep being awesome. Yo, thank you. I will try to do both. I will definitely keep working out. That's for sure. <sighs> yep. Yep, 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 yep. Um, hello from Denmark. 30-year-old guy here. Yo, from another 30-year-old. Brought your first, or you bought your first piano. I've never heard of that brand. N-U-X, N-P-K? What's that? N-U-X, N-P-K, 10? Huh. Never have heard of that brand in my life. Interesting. Okay. Very cool. I want to try something always love piano watch most of your YouTube videos and thought why not go for it yo that's awesome thanks for sharing that how are you liking it so far or have you not gotten it yet uh, we also got Gen Genilus Genilus Mob coming in with the prime I appreciate it is Nord piano good um I've played on the stage one of the stage Nord stage pianos they're you know they're not my favorite, but objectively, they're good. Yeah, it's like a $4,000 keyboard, so it's fantastic. But I'm, I'm comparing that to, like, the keyboards that I have. I like the Phantom way better than the Nord. Same thing with the Kronos. But that's just my personal preference. Some people are, like, diehard Nord fans, and they're just wrong. Everyone's entitled to their incorrect opinion. Let Missy know. Yeah, any streamers who use it as well are just laughing stocks. No, I joke, I joke. It's a great keyboard. It's a great keyboard. Uh. Um, I have a burning question. I wanted to know what's the orchestral VST you use. Oh, the one that is not a VST. It's actually a built-in sound on the Korg Kronos. Mostly, well, it's actually not out of the box because I, I did quite a bit of tweaking to it. But if you were to get the Chord Kronos, it's a sound called Orchestra and Timpani in Bank A, Sound 11. Probably talked about this. That's a good sound. Yeah, it's a cool sound. Yeah, yeah. Might buy the whole piano now. It's really good, man. There are so many sounds on the Kronos that are fantastic. Really good orchestral sounds, too. Um, those are my favorite sounds on here. That's, that's primarily what I use this for, a lot of the orchestral stuff. And the drum sounds are really good as well. I think the Phantom is just unreal with the synthesizers, all the synth sounds, and even some of their orchestral sounds and um, ethnic percussion and ethnic instruments. But... I think the Kronos has a beat in terms of orchestral capabilities. 
It's pretty dang awesome. Pretty dang awesome. Because it's like velocity sensitive. So you can go in and you can actually tweak which part of the register certain orchestral sections come in and at what velocity number that they come in. So if I play down here, it'll be mostly like strings. And if I play louder, you get some brass. And if I play really loud, you get timpanies. And then up here, it's more strings or, or more like flutes, brass, oh, I'm sorry, woodwinds. I said like everything but the right one. And then you play louder. So you get more of the, uh, the brass up here. It's cool. So after you tweak it and practice for a bit, you can get pretty good at like memorizing certain velocities. cool stuff man i love that i do love that sound also i like the organ on here too i use that a lot and probably the thing i use the most is the vocoder on here i use that quite a bit and this bass sound it's like my favorite bass sound on this whole keyboard yeah pretty awesome stuff man awesome stuff Whoa. That's a cool sound. I've never played. That's called Tricky Kit. Whoa. Wait, hang on. I gotta do something with that. Ooh. That's a cool sound, man. What? Keep running over my wires. What the heck?
All right, I want to find like a. Let's see, what's a what's a different sort of sound we got in here? What do we got in this in the in the, the fast? Whoa! Oh, these are some... Okay, I gotta make something cool. Flip the phrases. <laughs> it's off. Wait, 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 hang on. All right, it's gonna be. Shoot. I don't know if I can fix that. Actually, that might just be done. Let me see. That's a quitter's mindset. What was it called? Trap? What do they say? Trappy? Oh, that's funny. I, I know exactly what happened. Shoot. Oh, bummer. What do you remember in chat? Nope. Oh, was it? Oh, tricky kit. There we go. All right, we can fix this.
All right, let's get a new uh, let's get a new kitten, a uh, new bass in here, shall we? Ooh, that's cool.
Bro. That one was interesting because I, I f had the phrase flipped wrong. So I had to adjust. Man, that was such a jam, though. <laughs> we fixed it in the end, but so if I start the loop, it actually starts in the middle of the phrase. Check this out. I don't know how that happened. That's funny. That was a cool one, man. That was so fun. Chad, I hope you enjoyed that. Thank you for listening. It was another fun improv. Jamming on a Saturday. Oh, darn it. I still have this stupid pound cake mouse up. Oh. Yeah, the cork mouse pad. I know. Mouse go crazy. It's a we, we were talking about mouse pads before and vertical mouse pads. I didn't know that that's what these things were called. And then we stumbled across this and it looks it looks like a piece of cake, but they replaced the icing with the actual mouse. I don't I don't like this makes me very uncomfortable. Why? Why? I, yeah, why? I guess that's my question. How come? You know? Oh, oh, and they got the matching core. Yeah, like this is just not it, man. Bam, bam, ba, da, jump, da, ba, dee, da. You feel the cringe, I know. All right. Good stuff, chat. Thank you, uh, Laura, for the gifted sub. Appreciate that. We also got Deli Delican with the T1. Ron Republic gifting a sub as well. Ignorance with the 10 months. Genius Mob with the new Prime. Thank you all so much for the support today. Hope you're enjoying the stream. I appreciate you. Appreciate you.
That's pretty cool. Cool reharm. Uh, hey, what's up, Chemrox? Thank you for the $25, man. Thanks for today's stream. I always work better when I listen to your playing. Yeah, I appreciate you, dude. I hope work's going well. Sorry you have to work on a Saturday, but I guess we both are, technically. Um, hope you can relax a little bit tomorrow on Sunday. How you doing, chat? How's it going? We're probably going to wrap up stream soon, just so you know. Call it soon. So sorry. Um, we got metal, metal level with the hundred bits. I appreciate you. Thank you. Oh, don't even worry about it, Pinecone. Don't even worry about it. My pleasure. Another two hours? No, 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 no. No, I am gonna, I am gonna wrap up. I do want to get to the gym on the early side today. Um, chat, make sure you check out the new video just released a couple hours ago on the main channel. And when you're done with that, if you'd like to check out, shut up, Frank. If you'd like to check out my other channels, shut up, Frank. Go to channels and please check out the highlights channel. I have a bunch of loops on there. And my third channel, which is a VOD channel. It's an archive of all of my Twitch live streams. So these are really long videos, you know, the full live stream. So three hours, two hours. And that's it. 
that's the idea. Those are the three main channels. Please check them out. It mean the world to me. Uh, Biquet HC. Oh, thank you for the three months. I appreciate you. That's what I need. Let's go. Yeah, there's a bunch. There's a bunch of, uh, there's a lot of content. You know, the, the main videos on my, uh, or the Omega videos on my main channel, they take so much time and work that, you know, I, I release a video every two weeks, sometimes every week. Um, but they're, they're just humongous videos, huge time commitment. So if you want more content outside of that, uh, these are the channels to check out for sure. Cause I'm uploading pretty frequently on both of these channels as well. So, and shorts as well on the highlights channel. I do have a bunch of shorts from Omegle as well. Endless Frank content. All right, chat, let's wrap it up today. I want to grab some food and then head to the gym today. <clears throat> and I might just relax tonight. Oh, uh, I definitely need some food. All right, where's, um, what's his face? I know we just raided him, but he's doing, he has a celebration stream today, right? We should raid him, that would be nice. I do have to raid him run, so I won't be able to stick around. But we're going to raid uh, my living room. I think today is their one year celebration. Very awesome. Very awesome. Please go show them some support. Amazing pianist. And thank you to the mods, of course, for being here. Appreciate you. Happy birthday again to Laura. And here's our raid call. If you want to copy this with a Tedesk crew, please go show some support to the lovely My Living Room. And I'll see you all. I don't know when. I do not know when. I want to stream tomorrow, but when tomorrow rolls around, I might. Who knows? Who knows? But, uh, oh yeah, lastly, join the Discord, because that is when you will know for sure if I go live tomorrow. And I also have my stream schedule there. Bunch of cool stuff. Bunch of cool stuff. I don't know why the Discord takes so long to load nowadays. It's actually insane how long it takes. There we go. It takes like 10 seconds to load for some reason. But anyways, this is the place to go. It's the central hub of the community. You'll get notified if you join when I upload a YouTube video, which I just did today, when I go live. And I also have my stream schedule. It's a weekly schedule, so it changes each week. I usually post this on Mondays. So today's the last scheduled stream of the week, but we'll see how tomorrow goes. If not, then keep an eye out for the new schedule on Discord and or Twitter. Well, not or and Twitter on Monday. That's the idea. Please join. And we're going to raid my living room. Please go show them some support. It's a very special day. They're celebrating one year of... Well, they didn't tell us what. One year of living. All right. Appreciate you, chat. Have a good 